Hi, y'all. So, one thing that I want to talk about today is uh, people giving men who hate women a platform to express that hatred. We have to stop giving them a platform. If they don't have a stage, they can't perform. Okay? Now, there's a big difference between women who come on here and tell their experiences. This is what I went through when I got a divorce. This is how he reacted when he found out I was pregnant. Um, I relocated to be with my online, or not online, my boyfriend. I relocated to where he lives, and not long after that, I gave up everything for him, and then he dumped me. Meanwhile, I have no friends. I have relocated for him. That's a true story, by the way. Those are other true stories as well. So women are more likely to get on here and talk about their experiences with men and what they went through. Whereas men will get on here, okay, boys will get on here and they will start teaching other boys that look like men teach them how to hate women this is how you belittle women this is how you smash her self-esteem into the ground this is how you dog her out this is what you should do behind her back to make her paranoid and break her heart these mofos should not be getting a platform because the platform puts them in the spotlight and encourages their hatred. They don't have a reason for their hatred. Well, they do, but they won't go to therapy to address it. Okay. So they're getting online and they're talking about, and I saw this earlier today and I didn't watch the rest of the video because there was nothing to watch. I'm not going to fill my head with this shit. So he got on there and he said, Tell her she's fat. Now, mind you, there was no build to this. She cheated on you, and she did this, and she did that. There was no build. This is just, this is how you should hate your partner. There's no, I was traumatized, and this is how I feel now. There was none of that that they were willing to discuss. Your hate comes from somewhere. It didn't just come out of your ass one day, and now you're your hate, you know, your, your hate filled. You were always hate filled, probably the minute you came out of your mom's twat. Anyway, fuck, I hate them. I can't stand them. The more they spew hate, the more we don't, we hate them even more. I don't want to say hate. I don't just hate people for no reason. If I, str if I have strong feelings against you, there's reasons for that. This fool came on there and he was just like, tell her she's fat. Tell her she's ugly. You got to put her in her place. You got to knock her off her pedestal. Excuse you? When we pass these videos on, we're giving them attention. When we give them attention, they're excited because women have decided to leave them the hell alone. So they're basically incels. They don't want to address why women cut them off. They just want to hate women and teach other men to hate women. Die alone. You ain't hurting nobody but yourself. Go for it. But I think that we need to, like I said, there's a big difference between talking from a place of trauma. Okay. And this is how you feel because you've been traumatized. As opposed to, you should hate for the sake of being hateful. Tell her she's fat. Really? Do you think that's going to get you laid? Because that's the most important thing in the world to you any fucking way. We don't need to perpetrate and put these fools on a pedestal. The only people on a pedestal is them putting themselves on a pedestal. I'm going to make myself feel important by insulting women. Because I'm not getting laid. I'm an incel. So let me get on all the social medias and let me have people spread you know make my videos viral because i'm telling men how to hate women 
You need a psychiatrist. You don't need to be on social media. You need to be on, on a, on a uh, therapist couch. You're going to stay an incel. Once you go into that category, you're going to stay there because you're spewing hatred into the atmosphere. When you spew hate, it's going to come back to you. It's like a boomerang. It's going to come back and get you. Okay. And I remember, you know, I told myself, I'm not watching this video. I'm not encouraging this. I'm not going to fill my head with this shit. We already know you motherfuckers hate us. We already know that by the way you treat us. Your mom diddled you when you were little or your dad or someone ignored you or someone to beat you up. Uh, someone was an alcoholic, and so now you hate all women. Get your fucking ass into therapy. That's how you fix it. You don't get hate dished to you, and then you dish out more hate, and you think that's going to solve the problem. Okay? That's not going to solve it, dumbass. So we got to stop watching these videos. We, you know, they're not coming, they're not talking from a place of, you know, I was I was married for 30 years. I loved her dearly. I would have I would have thrown myself in front of a train for her and she cheated on me with my best friend. Are there some videos like that? Yes, but there's a lot more videos teaching men to hate other men just for the just for the sake of making them feel bad. Let's destroy women. And and dudes are like, "Yeah, cool." When you spew hate, it's a boomerang and it comes back to you and hits you full force in the face. You haven't figured that out yet? Genius. Another thing, and I made this comment before I got off the video and didn't watch the rest of it because I already, I, you know, was turned off by the way it was being presented. Um... I said, you know, white people caused slavery and they are thrilled that the hatred that they have towards blacks still perpetrates. They're thrilled by that. And they're also thrilled by the fact that they managed to get blacks to hate each other. The black women hate the black men and the black men hate the black women. So the white man is really proud. He, he started slavery and y'all, you know, you continue the hatred amongst your own. So they're sitting back going, yes, good job, dumbass. Don't ever blame something else on the man again, because you perpetrate this shit. They started it through slavery and you're keeping the torch burning. You're like, ooh, white man, Mr. White Man, look at me, look at me. We talk, we're hating each other. Isn't that cool? Yeah, you look fucking smart doing that. You look real smart doing that. I think they're incels. Um, I also believe that they are narcissists because healthy, non-toxic men are not online talking about women like a dog okay they're not doing that they're going out to find a woman a decent one if that's what they're looking for they don't have time to get online and say well I've been dogged out by and I hate women and tell her she's fat tell her she's ugly you better knock her off her pedestal they're not doing that dumb shit they're going out finding a woman some of them are getting married. Some of them are having children. They're not going to permit toxic fools online to discourage them from falling in love with a the woman. They're, they're not going to stop positive, healthy men from finding the love of their life. They're not going to stop that. And these same men are not going to be entertained by your negativity and your, your strong powerful desire to dog the shit out of women because you got a lot of shit up here that you haven't resolved okay you're not gonna stop them from falling in love with each other you're not gonna stop that and like i said you make the white man proud they hate you and y'all manage to hate each other perfect that's great good job dumbass we gotta stop watching these videos where like i said i've seen lots of videos that are trauma-based I have shared my own traumas with these fools. Um, 
you know, there's been a lot of um, incest within families because men have always used their you-know-what as a weapon, okay? You get prisoners of war. There was a woman on there uh, yesterday when she was... I, I watched her video yesterday. She was captured by whoever was taking over her country. And the first thing the, the leader said was to sexually assault her because that's what men love to do. They love to use their you know what is a weapon they've always done it and they always will do it that's the first thing that comes to their mind let's stick it in there let's take her against her will yay because men are fucked up in the head that way now are there some that aren't yes but there's so many that are they're just sick and we have you know my biggest beef, and I've told them about this. They don't respond because they hate women, okay? But I've told the MGTOW, M-G-T-O-W, the MGTOW movement. I said, y'all sitting here dogging the shit out of women. Teaching each other horrible things. Fuck the hell out of her until you're tired of fucking her. And then you got to dump her before you fall in love with her. I have seen that advice given. Dump her before you fall in love with her. This is the type of poison that people are promoting these types of videos. Hate all women, dog them out, make them cry, treat them like shit. They prefer men who treat them like shit anyway. This is the kind of crap they're feeding other men, okay? The women that I've seen, I've never seen videos where women are saying, Men are dogs. These are the reasons why I hate them. You should hate them too. Tell them he's no. Tell him he's no good in bed. Tell him he's got a small member. Um, tell him he ain't really that attractive anyway. Now, if you deserve to be told that, that's a different story. Okay, but just insult the shit out of men, whether they're good men or not. Insult all of them. You ain't never heard me say that, and you'll never hear me say that, because that's stupid. You want to punish everybody within a gender, whether they're good or bad, they all should be punished. Really? They're just advertising that they're sick. Positive men, healthy men do not have time to get online and dog the hell out of women because they are the gargoyles of society. They are out with their woman. They are out trying to get married, trying to have children. They are out trying to strengthen their family life, learn how to communicate better with their wife. They don't have time to watch videos online that dog every female out because she's a female. So of course she's horrible. You're going to stay in incel for the rest of your life because your head is twisted and you like it being twisted and you refuse to get professional help. So instead of us... I don't promote those type of videos, but instead of those videos being promoted, they need to not be promoted and push these fools out of the sp out of the spotlight because everybody should be punished based on their gender. I don't care if they're a good person or, or a bad person or a great person. The gender alone makes them a horrible person, which you, know, you and I both know that's asinine. We don't need to be promoting that type of hatred. We don't. So you're advertising to me that you're extremely toxic and you're going to increase the likelihood of never finding someone to love you because you're an evil bastard. But back to MGTOW. I said to them years ago, I said, if y'all want to hate women, that's cool. That's on you. But my biggest beef with you, this was the guy who's the cult leader. He is the cult leader of MGTOW. Everybody follows him and everybody bows down before him. It's freaking crazy. It's a cult. Whether they want to admit it or not, it's a cult. And um, I said, I don't have a problem with, you know, you helping men get their frustration off about women because there are situations where the law protects the, the uh, woman even when the finances during a divorce, the finances should be split in half. He pays half of the, the child custody and she pays the rest or whatever. The legal system is very unfair towards men. This is true. 
So a lot of men are angry. And, you know, they were with a partner that cheated on them and it broke their heart in a million pieces. Now they're determined to never love again, which is extreme. I said, I don't have a problem with you. I, I wrote the leader, the cult leader. I said, I don't have a problem with you helping women, I mean, helping men, excuse me, helping men get their steam off. I don't have a problem with that. What I do have a problem with is you don't have a platform to help these men get healthy and to resolve their anger. You don't address that part of it. You want them to stay stuck in their anger. That's my biggest beef with you. And of course, there was silence because he ain't trying to hear all that. He likes spreading hate. He likes them teaching each other to hate. And everybody's swarming in hatred and they love every bit of it. Okay, if you think that's working for you, go right ahead. If you think that's working, go ahead. So yeah, we gotta stop watching videos like this. If, if we see the title and we're not really sure and then we start watching it and then these fools are trying to teach other men to hate women. It don't matter if she's good. It doesn't matter if she's kind. It doesn't matter, matter if she's Mother Teresa. It doesn't matter if she will give you the shirt off her back. She needs to be hated because she's a female. Once you get that hatred, click off the video. Let's not even give them any airtime because it's unnecessary and it just proves how sick and twisted they really are and that they have no desire to get better. And if you have no desire to get better, don't waste my time get lost get, get out of here get out of here we don't need this we, we don't need to perpetrate hatred within especially within people of color not just black people but people of color period all we have is each other okay all we have is each other and if we start dogging each other then what right? It don't make no sense. So I'm not going to give them any airtime. I'm not, I'm just not going to do it. Once I get the, the feel for it, you know, I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it. You want to hate all women? Make sure you hate your mother too, which you probably do already, which is why you hate women because you have unresolved issues with your mother. Get to the bottom of it, sick one. Get to the bottom of it. Y'all take care. Much love.